Cadell Evans of Australia makes history today. 2011 was a big year for news, which makes it quite challenging to summarise everything that happened in just a couple of minutes, but we'll give it a go. The world population reached 7 billion people, nearly half of them tuned in to watch the royal wedding. And while that relationship blossomed, another was looking very rocky. Julia had a tough year. The controversy over the carbon tax saw her popularity plummet. Despite the bumpy ride, she would have been thankful that she wasn't in Rupert Murdoch's shoes. And that Tony Abbott had lost his voice. And if it's out of context, what is the context? The PM could also take comfort in the state of the economy. Thanks to the mining boom, Australia's coffers ran to the tune of $1.3 trillion. A sharp contrast to some parts of the world. Yet for all our wealth, we weren't immune from the destructive power of Mother Nature. We thought we were going to die. This weather may break our hearts and it is doing that, but it will not break our will. Performances in the sporting arena helped to lift morale. Brisbane roared, Stosa soared, the Reds were ruthless and the Maroons, well, they were just magnificent, chalking up their sixth series win in a row. The most impressive sporting performance of the year was Cadell Evans, King of the Road and King of France. The boy from Geelong inspired a whole town to victory. It was a big year for visits. Pop stars, presidents and royalty all flew in. Lady Gaga caused quite a stir and even I couldn't resist being inspired by her style. Gaga! If you flew with Qantas last year, you weren't going anywhere. While Qantas remained firmly on the ground, the sea eagles were flying high. Black Caviar was unstoppable on the racetrack, channeling the spirit of Farlap to become the people's champion. One of the biggest events of the year was the end of the world's most wanted man. He wasn't the only leader in trouble. Across the world, dictators and tyrants were toppled one way or another. Gaddafi, Mubarak and Kim Jong-il. We also said goodbye to some inspirational figures. And as we wave goodbye to 2011, what have we got to look forward to in 2012? Well, The Hobbit looks set to blitz the box office. The Olympics will no doubt dominate the sporting pages. And in the US, there's a small matter of the presidential elections. Closer to home, we'll be watching with interest to see if Karl Stepanovic ever masters the art of the one-line gag. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop and says, can you make me one with everything? And if I'll ever get the chance to dress up as Lady Gaga again, I'll probably resist that. It's New Year's Eve, so who needs an excuse? From me and all the Channel 9, have a great 2012.